Hi guys, welcome back to the Mighty Blues. It is the player ratings. Everton 1, Manchester City 3 at Goodison Park. Another defeat for Sean Dyche's Everton side today. Again, just one of those evenings, wasn't it? Went in at half-time, 1-0 up. A fantastic first half performance but it's always extremely difficult to keep that up against this Manchester City side especially when they put their foot on the gas in the second half individual mistakes tiredness fatigue a little bit of lack of of, of energy I think cost us today and ultimately for me another horrendous decision I've just watched it back then I know his arm is up but when a ball is fired at you from that distance and it barely touches you, you, your arm I'm not really sure what he's meant to do there can you throw yourself at a ball with your arms down by your side I played football for 10 years 11 12 years obviously not at a high level but I was a center back for 10 11 12 years and not once can I remember being able to throw myself at a block uh with my arms by my side it just it just doesn't happen um but yeah again maybe had that penalty had not been given maybe we'd have still gone on and lost the game because Manchester City ultimately are untouchable when they put their foot on the gas and, and Everton couldn't deal with that but I do think the scoreline hugely flatters them a um, couple of individual mistakes and as I said a, a controversial refereeing decision ultimately the difference today and, and I don't think we should be massively disheartened or massively disappointed with that but it is important now after two, straight, uh, two losses on the bounce that we bounce back and get a positive result against Wolves because um yeah we we don't want to fall into a into a you know a run of of three four five defeats on the spin we need to pick up another three points anyway this is the player ratings uh, this is the show where we rate, rate every player uh, between one and ten one being horrendous ten obviously being absolutely fantastic if you haven't checked out the instant match reaction please go and do so it is live on the channel now uh jordan pickford then yeah, not one of his greatest games today, Jordan. It has to be said. You know, I'm I'm always the first person to sit here and give him huge and huge amounts of praise when he puts in a, a fantastic performance. I think the first half, he was really solid. I think he made a couple of big, big saves in the first half that kept us in the game. He made a double save from, I don't know whether it was Foden and, and Nunes, was it? Uh, which was absolutely fantastic and kept the game at nil-nil and obviously was, was massively important when we went in at half-time, 1-0 up. He made another save uh, in the first half half as well which was quite a big moment but then the second half ultimately um i think his, his individual errors have, have cost us a little bit there i'm not so sure i'd put a massive amount of blame on him for the second one yes if he comes out and collects it and um, then you know maybe the the penalty situation is avoided the third one is 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 a mistake it's as clear as day i don't know whether he's trying to be clever i don't know whether he's just it's just a bit of a lazy touch i don't know whether it's a tired touch i'm not too sure but it obviously is a huge mistake for me if you're a goalkeeper and you're out of your area by that much and you're that wide then there's not really any sort of chance to take one or two extra touches just just lash it up just lash it up because the likelihood is if you get it taken off you there you'll be made to pay for it especially when you're playing a side with the quality that Manchester City do have and and he was made to pay for it first goal again I understand that he takes a couple of extra to a couple of extra steps to his right hand side and if he doesn't take those extra steps then he's probably got enough room to cover the shot coming in from Phil Foden but I understand why he took the steps. He took them to try and give himself a better view because ultimately his view is blocked. And as I said in the instant match reaction, 90% of players in the league aren't able to hit that ball as well as Foden did and as accurate as Foden did. You know, ultimately what Jordan has forgot to remember there is those extra two steps to the right present themselves as an opportunity for, for, for Manchester City and for the quality that Manchester City have. And you can't present opportunities to this Manchester City side or you'll be made to pay for them. So as much as it's an, a mistake from Jordan, I think it's a little bit harsh to zone in on that one because, like I said, it's a, it's a quality finish by Phil Foden from, you know, what, 25 yards out or 20 yards out, whatever it was. Um... And, you know, I, I, I don't think he's probably anticipating that, but, but maybe that, that's a mistake in itself because he should be anticipating that from somebody with the quality of phone. Uh, I'm going to give him a... I'm going to give him... A four... 
I'm going to give him a four and a half today because I expect more from him. I definitely expect more from him for the third goal. I think it's quite poor. And I think if he's a little bit more command, then he probably could do better for the in the lead up to the penalty as well. The first one, I think it's harsh. He does make a brilliant save in the first half. Ultimately, it's one of those days for Jordan. It's one of those days. When was the last time Jordan Pickford had a, had a performance where we were talking about mistakes costing us? A long, long time ago. So, yeah, listen, you can't shy away from it. The mistakes cost us today and the mistakes mostly will, will, will come from him. Um, it is what it is. It's one of them. But I'm not I'm not all of a sudden going to be saying sell him, get rid of him, bring somebody else in because that's nonsense. Uh, right back then, Nathan Patterson. I'm going to give Nathan Patterson a seven and a half today. I thought he was really, really solid. I think he's probably a little bit unlucky to not get a higher score. Had Everton had gone on to, got something out, to get something out of the game, I think he probably would have got a higher score. Um, difficult... Difficult job today, Mark and Jack Grealish. Not only a player with you know an, a, a massive amount of quality, but also a player that whenever he feels a, a, a you know a, a blast of air go past him, he throws himself on the floor. Um, so extremely difficult sort of situation for for Nathan today. But I thought he was really really solid. Thought he put in a really really solid performance. Dealt with him really well. It was a mature performance. He didn't really make any individual errors. Didn't really make any individual mistakes. Probably I give him an eight actually because he probably deserves that. He wasn't he wasn't a fault for much whatsoever. Um, and he's, he he seems to be maturing week in week out. And I said this a couple of weeks ago when Nathan was put in the team. Um, and you know again he. Didn't look unbelievable at first, obviously in the absence of Seamus Coleman and Ashley Young. He had games where he had moments in games where he was making mistakes, where he was letting players overlap him, where he wasn't great on the ball. But I always said it's, it's going to take him three, four, five games to truly settle into this team, to truly settle back into playing Premier League football again. And once he does, I think we've got a serious talent on his hand, on our hands. And I think we've shown today uh, that he's more than capable of, of dealing with a lot of top quality Premier League wingers. Um, and yeah, I thought his performance was, was relatively solid today. I thought he, he done well. Uh, into the be uh, into the back Back line then, um, James Tarkowski, going to give him a seven and a half again. I thought he was quite solid today. Um, it's difficult when you lose a game 3-1 and then you've got a great defenders because, you know, people probably are, are expecting defenders to get a low score because we conceded three goals, we made a couple of individual mistakes. But I don't think James Tarkowski done much wrong today, to be honest with you. Again, I think he was fairly solid. Dealt with a lot of the, the defensive duties particularly well. A third goal is absolutely nothing to do with him. The first goal is absolutely nothing to do with him. The second goal, the penalty, nothing to do with him. So, yeah, I think he was really solid today. Again, difficult, difficult job on his hands. Difficult moments in the game. But I think he dealt with them quite well. And, um, you know, he gave a good account to himself. Next to him, Janet Brantwaite. I'm going to give him a seven and a half again. Really, really solid. Look, I mean, the most impressive thing for me with Janet Brantwaite was his composure. It was his composure on the ball. Um, you know, he's coming up against the Manchester City side, who are the best in the world, who have just come off the back of winning the Club World Cup Championships or whatever that nonsense made up trophy is. Um, but have also just won a treble, which is something that, you know, only one team has ever managed before in, in, in English football uh, at the highest level anyway. So, you know, it's... Um, it's a difficult task that to expect a young player who's played such little Premier League football in comparison to everybody else to, to be able to deal with that. But he dealt with it really well. He always looks cool. He always looks calm. He always looks collected. He never looks phased. He never looks panicked or worried. He always looks confident. And that's vitally important to have in your centre-half. You want your centre-half to, no matter who they're playing, no matter what level of player they're playing against, always be the same level-headed, cool, calmness. And I think we've got that in both of those centre-halves at the moment. And yes, we lost the game today. And yes, individual letters have cost us. But again, I don't think either of those two um, could particularly be blamed for that. Left-back for Tali Mikhailenko. I'm going to give him a six and a half. I thought he'd done well. don't think he was as good as what he has been in recent weeks or what he can be. But I thought he'd done well done well down that left hand side getting forward done well defensively as well again really really difficult even in forum coming up against Bernardo Silva and, and, and coming up against that Manchester City attack who are um obviously <clears throat> the best in the world but he dealt with it he did what he needed to do Moved the ball well when he needed to. Um, again, I thought the whole defence back line was relatively solid today and probably didn't deserve to be on the, the losing um, the losing team. But 
you know, that is what it is. It, it happens in football, doesn't it? Into the midfield then, Amadou Onana. Going to give Amadou a five and a half today. Thought he was good in moments. Um, and I thought there was, there was other moments where he just didn't look sharp. He just didn't look quick enough to the ball. He just didn't look uh, aggressive enough. And unfortunately, I had to watch the game from home today on the television because... Um, because of a, a of an illness, so I wasn't able to make Goodison Park. But on there was a couple of moments that maybe you you would not have saw in 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 the stadium. But um, I thought they were quite obvious from watching on the television. That there's just a couple of moments where again, this might be a case of him being tired. It might be a case of him being a little bit leggy. It might be a case of him being a little bit uh, fatigued, and that was why he wasn't quite able to make that extra step or able to make that extra challenge. But I just thought there was a couple of moments today where he could have given that little bit more, and he didn't. Not in terms of effort or work rate, but just in terms of individual situations where he maybe could have been a bit quicker to the ball or a bit more, um, <clears throat> you know, a bit more tough in the challenge. But. He, he wasn't. He had, a, he had a decent game, don't get me wrong. I'm not having a go. I'm not saying he was awful. I'm not saying he was terrible. Uh, I just think, yeah, I think his tiredness and, and, and fatigue kept in a little bit for Amadou today, I'll be perfectly honest. Next to him then, Andre Gomez. <sighs> yeah, he was all right. He was all right. Give him a six. He was okay. Um, again, very, very difficult. Very, very difficult task for him. First Premier League star for Everton in how long? You know, two years, three years, whatever it might be. Uh, come off the bench, obviously, against Tottenham and done really well for, for 70 minutes, scored the goal and, you know, and no problem with him starting the game today. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. But ultimately, incredibly difficult task to expect him to be able to keep up with Manchester City's midfield and the quality that Manchester City have to offer. I think he struggled with it at times. On the ball, looked good. A couple of his passes were good. A couple of his, his movement was was good. Um, but, uh, yeah, off the ball. Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to have a go at him. You know what you get with Andre Gomez. He's not going to do an, an immense amount of running off the ball. He's not going to be able to catch a player on the counter-attack. I don't think he was awful today or by any sense of the imagination somebody we should be having a go at. Um, I just, I think, I think you could see he was a player that hadn't played a lot of football in recent years. Um, certainly not in the Premier League. James Garner then, um, I'll give him a six and a half as well. Thought he worked hard. Thought he put himself about, thought he battled well, thought he moved the ball well. Um, thought in that first half especially, he was absolutely fantastic. I think everybody dropped off in the second half. I think it was a combination of, as I said, tired legs, fatigue, lack of, um, you know, probably match fitness because of the amount of games we played recently and Manchester City being Manchester City. I, I just think those two things combinated um, to result in what was a, a, not a great second half for Everton. James Garner, as I said, thought he worked hard, ran round, put himself about, done well, battled, not hugely in the game, but it, it, again, we didn't have a huge amount of the ball because of who we were playing and, and that is what it is, but... Yeah, he was okay. Uh, Dwight McNeil then, going to give him a seven. Obviously, got the assist for um, Jack Harrison's goal. Thought he done well today. Worked hard, put himself about. Again, second half, hugely leggy. Hugely leggy. I think in that final sort of 20 minutes, you could really tell that he was struggling. He was struggling to keep up with the play. He was struggling to keep up with the pace of the game and, 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 and that of the like. Um, but still put himself about, battled, worked hard, gave everything and then obviously got the assist as well. Jack Harrison, I'm actually going to give Jack a... I'm going to give Jack a seven. I'm going to give Jack an eight today, actually. I've criticised him a lot recently. I've said on these videos a number of times, I want more from Jack Harrison. I know he works hard. I know he battles. I know he gives 110% every time he's on the pitch. But I want more from him. He gave us that today. He absolutely gave us that. His goal is really well taken. He's, he does well to get in that area. Very nearly as a second, not long after, which would have been an absolute worldy of a strike, a worldy of an opportunity. It's fortunate that, you know, Edison saw it when he saw it. Otherwise, he would never have saved it. Um... Yeah, I thought he 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 done really well today. Best game in an Everton share for me for a number of weeks. Uh, and that is what we want to see from Jack. We want to see him in those areas where he's capable of scoring. And we want to see him on the end of balls that are falling from the edge of the box. There was a couple of 
times today where a corner, an Everton corner come in and it was cleared, but it was cleared to the edge of the box and we never really had anybody there to get on the end of it. I think had we have had Jack there a couple of more times, then maybe he'd have took one of those chances and, and we'd have got back in the game. But yeah, I thought he'd done well today. I thought he deserved a, a lot of credit. And then Beto, <coughs> going to give Beto a six and a half as well. Listen, he worked his arse off today. He worked his ass off. Did he have many chances with the ball? No. Did he have many opportunities on goal? No. Did he have, you know, was he unbelievable? No, but he worked hard. He put himself about, he battled, he won fouls, he made the nuisance of himself. And sometimes in games like this, that's all you can do. You know, I don't think anybody expected him to hold the ball up on the halfway line, take four or five players on and go and slot in in the back of the net. It wasn't the case. Um, always going to be a hugely difficult task for him today, as it was for Dom when he come on. Um, but yeah, I thought he'd done well, Beto. On to the bench then. Dom, <clears throat> going to give him a six again. Hugely difficult task for him today to come off the bench and try and get us back in the game in that situation and try and uh, um, create opportunities for himself and, and get on the end of chances. He did have one big opportunity that... I think he should do better with it. I mean, it's crossed in, he gets a contact on it. And I think if you get a contact on that ball in that situation, as I say, yeah, it's got to be on target. It's got to be on target. People might look at it and go, it's unlucky, it's unfortunate, the defender does well to put pressure on him, etc. But, yeah, for me, he's just got to do better in that situation. But he, he still worked hard, put himself about, etc. But, yeah, I think he should do better in that situation. Uh, Michael Keane then, yeah, six, come on. Slotted into the defence, worked hard, didn't put a foot wrong, didn't really do much else, but didn't put a foot wrong. And then Dan Juma, yeah, six. Did he touch the ball? I don't know, but he come on with 10 minutes to go, so it would be harsh of me to criticise him. Um, yeah, there you go. That's the player ratings. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Another disappointing defeat, another really frustrating dis de defeat, but ultimately we have to move on from it and you know we have to be able to put it to one side and... and really really go out and win we need to win on saturday against wolves i know they've had a big win today but we really really need to go out and win on saturday so let's hope we can big big thank you all for watching if you have enjoyed it please leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you're new if you haven't checked out the instant match reaction please please go and do so um yeah one of them days one of them days cheers for watching see you after